Hello everyone, welcome back to another banger video. Today, we're going to be building a machine learning model that can detect fake news in Python. With the abundance of news articles circulating online, it's important to have the tools that can help us identify unreliable sources. Now, before we get into the video, if you guys want to see more videos like this, drop a like down below. It helps us out tremendously with the YouTube algorithm. With that out of the way, let's hop right into it. So as always, let's start by importing the necessary libraries and loading our data set. For this project, we'll be using NumPy, Pandas, Scikit-Learn, and the Passive-Aggressive Classifier algorithm. Right, let's make sure we didn't make any errors. All right, well, that's loading and downloading. Let's go ahead and import our data set now. All right, I think I misspelled linear. There we go. All right, so an easy way to upload files on Google Colab is just by typing in this code right here. Then when we run this, we get a little pop-up where we can click choose files and select our data set. If you're on the desktop version of Jupyter Notebook, you can just slide the data set into your repository or your um, projects directory, and then you can just call it that way. The data set for this project will be linked in the description. Just go down there, download it, and do whatever I just said. All right, now let's go ahead and actually read our data set. Right, and then I'll be back when the data set is done uploading. All right, now that our data set is completely loaded, we can go ahead and run our read CSV function. So here we use the read CSV function from pandas to read the data set from a CSV file called news.csv, which is the one we uploaded here. And then we store it in a data frame called df. All right, now let's explore the data set a bit before diving into the machine learning part. All right, so here we use the shape to get the number of rows and columns in the data set, and we display it using DF shape. We use head to display the first few rows of the data set, giving us a glimpse of the data. Now to prepare our data for, the, for training our model, we need to split it into training and testing sets. This will allow us to evaluate the performance of our model on unseen data. All right, so here we extract the label column from the data frame using df label and store it in the variable labels. We use train test split, the train test split function to split the data set into training and testing sets. The text column represents the input data, x train and x test, while the labels represents the target variable, y train and y test. We specify a test size of 0.2 or 20% of a data of the data and set a random state for reproductibility. Now we need to convert our textual data into numerical features. We use the TF-IDF term frequency inverse document frequency technique for this.
Now we're going to fit and transform the training set. Sure, we didn't make any typos here. Looks good. All right, so here we initialize a TF IDF vectorizer object called TF IDF vectorizer. This object will convert the text data into numerical features based on the TF IDF algorithm. We specify English as the stop words, which are commonly which are common words to be ignored, and set max DF to 0.7, which ignores terms that have a document frequency of higher than 0.7. We use the fit transform function on the training set x train to fit the vectorizer and transform the text into numerical features. We then use the transform function on the testing set x test to transform the text into numerical features based on the learned vocabulary from the training set. Now with our data prepared, it's time to train our model using the passive aggressive classifier algorithm. All right, so here we initialize a passive aggressive classifier. Um, that object is named pack with a maximum of 50 iterations. We use the fit function to train the model on the training set, tfidf train and y train. And then we use the predict function to make predictions on the testing set, which is tfidf test using the trained model. All right, and lastly, let's evaluate the performance of our model by calculating its accuracy and creating a confusion matrix. All right, so here we calculate the accuracy of the model by comparing the predicted labels y pred with the actual labels y test using the accuracy score function. We use the print function to display the accuracy percentage, and then we create a confusion matrix using the confusion matrix function, which helps us visualize the performance of our model in terms of true positives, true negatives, false positives, and false negatives. All right, and that's going to be it for this video. We've successfully built a fake news detection model using machine learning. Now, by leveraging the power of text vectorization and passive aggressive classifier algorithm, we can identify potential misleading news articles. If you guys found this helpful or enjoyed the video, drop a like down below, drop a comment, subscribe for more, and we'll catch you in the next one.